So you just saw an example of how we're leveraging new technologies like PCI Express and PXI Express in our measurement products. Another technology we're very excited about is wireless. Today you find wireless embedded in your laptops, in Wi-Fi enabled 3G phones, and in wireless sensors used to monitor energy consumption. Last year at NI Week, we introduced our first wireless measurement product, the Wi-Fi Data Acquisition Carrier. And today, we're introducing a new family of wireless measurement products. And to tell us more, please welcome from R&D, Malcolm Borgendale, and Product Manager, Nick Butler. Morning, guys. Morning. Thanks, everyone. We've got a lot of exciting things to talk about, so I'll jump right into LabVIEW and let Malcolm explain what I'm doing. Here on the LabVIEW front panel, we're showing the wireless sensor network that we have configured here in the auditorium. This consists of an Ethernet gateway and a number of battery-operated measurement nodes, uh, including this one I have right here. Uh, John, just to prove that you have a heartbeat and a pulse, why don't we go ahead and uh, heat that up a little bit. Come on. Come uh, just, on. Uh, there we there go. A couple of degrees <laughs> rise. So prove that it's working here on the LabVIEW front panel. All right, so that node on the top is this one you have in your hand, but I see you have three other nodes in the system. Where are they located? They're actually throughout the audience, and with a little bit of audience help and participation, uh, we should be able to get those temperatures to rise as well. Oh. We can see a couple of the indicators going up, so uh, thanks to our audience for helping out um, and helping to improve the, the temperature here in the auditorium. <laughs> All right, so guys, it looks like uh, we got a great new addition to our family with the wireless sensor network. Well, why don't we go ahead and talk a little bit about some of the hardware and software that's behind that. So uh, if we take a look at the, the LabVIEW project here, you can see the Ethernet gateway. Underneath that Ethernet gateway are a number of measurement nodes. In this case, we have four thermocouple nodes and one voltage node. Each of these nodes has four I.O. channels that are sent back to the gateway over a low power radio. So now I'm thinking, Malcolm, this actually might be the ideal NI product to help monitor the temperature here in the convention center. Yes, John, but this is just a demonstration. There are a lot more applications for this, like outdoor environmental monitoring, structural health monitoring, machine monitoring, and even energy conservation measurements. So, but since you insist, we do have some pretty good indoor environmental monitoring measurements as well. Uh, this is some data we took overnight in the convention center. You can see that um, overnight they turned off the AC and allowed the temperature to increase to save energy. And then early in the morning they turned it way back down uh, to take on the thermal mass of all the NI week attendees that would be here this morning. Yeah, it's good to see it was once warm in this room. <laughs> so I imagine uh, for this program with all the wireless protocols and communications, it must be some pretty elaborate lab you code you're running. Well, actually, John, you can see here on the block diagram that it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. There's four I.O. variables wired directly into a waveform chart. Each time the loop executes, it displays those uh, data points from the gateway on the chart, um, and it works pretty well. Um, to, make sure how, uh, to make sure how easy it is and show you that, um, we'll have Nick drag and drop over a couple of I.O. variables onto the block diagram. Um, all he has to do is... 